Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now, last game week was an interesting one. If you're a fan of certain clubs, you're happier than others. Let's have a look at our last week predictions, how they went, and also let's predict game week six and how we think this week's going to go. Now, before we start, of course, it is a giveaway. We've been advertising this for the last month or so. All you have to do, guys, is subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, and retweet the tweet that is in my description below. Once you've done those three things, you were entered for an FM21 giveaway. We're trying to give it away by the time the beta launches, so you can download it in time for that. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let's get on with it. Right, so let's kick off with last week's predictions. Now, we predicted 2-1 Liverpool versus Everton. It finished 2 of course, there. 2-0 Chelsea, we said that, it finished 3 all. It's a lot of goals this season, it's ridiculous. Absolutely incredible how many goals there are this year. Man City Arsenal, went for a 2-1 Man City win, obviously won one nil. So a decent result there, so our first correct sort of fixture, not the actual scoreline. 1-0 Newcastle Man U, didn't really go to plan, it's a 4-1 win to Man United. 2-0 Sheffield United versus Fulham, did they draw? They drew, didn't they? They drew one all. So only one correct result in the first five fixture guesses. But on to the second five here. We've got 1-0 Crystal Palace. They drew 1-0. Another incorrect result. 2-1 West Ham. I mean, it felt like a win. What an unbelievable goal from Manuel Lanzini. I can't lie. It did feel like a win. We obviously drew 3-0. 3-0 down after 15 minutes. 3-0 down after 81 minutes, in fact, as well. And to get a 3-0 comeback with the way we scored that last goal was absolutely incredible as a West Ham fan. Very, very... Too fair, I'm not going to lie. I'm happy with the draw. I can't, I can't say I'm not. A 3-0 comeback in the London derby is always very, very good. 3-1 Leicester versus Villa. Villa actually won one nil. I'm I'm surprised. I'm not. A, I don't know why I don't rate Villa too much. I don't know why I don't. Nil nil Burnley. We got that spot on. Absolutely correct. How long that's going to happen? Everyone that's been nil nil draw. And two all Leeds versus Wolves. We went for and it went for a one nil Wolves win. So we did okay. Didn't we didn't do embarrassingly bad. Probably the only bad result was was Leicester versus Aston Villa. Where a three one win they lost one nil. But apart from that, I think pretty decent. On to this week's results now. Let's have a look at what we predict here. Right, so as I said, on to this week's game week. Game week six, and we start off with Villa versus Leeds. I've actually gone for the first time this season. Everyone, just be careful here. We've gone for a 2-1 Villa win. We've gone for a 2-1 Villa versus Leeds. Villa are at home. I think they could do it. Leeds are, are interesting this year. They look good, but not necessarily getting the results they sort of performances give. So I've gone for a 2-1 Villa win there. West Ham versus Man City. Oh, this will be embarrassing when it goes terribly wrong. But I've gone for a 2 all West Ham, Man City draw. I'm not sure why. I just feel like we could do it. I don't even know why. I'm just preparing myself for heartbreak, really. Two all West Ham City. That's what I've gone for here. Mikel Antonio opening the score in there. And a Suchek header. That's what I'm thinking of. Fulham versus Palace. Away win there. Palace 2-1 up. I think a 2-1 win there. I think Fulham are down. I say this every week. I'll say this every game week until they're not down. But I think Fulham will go down. 2-1 loss there to Palace. I think Palace have got too much of Fulham to handle, really. Pretty much a championship side versus an established Prem side at the moment. Man U versus Chelsea. Gone for a 3-2 home win to Man U. I feel the penalty's coming on or a free kick or a set-piece goal from Man United here. I think Chelsea are an inter interesting one. To be fair, I'm saying a lot of clubs are interesting ones this year. The league in itself, which is very interesting. A lot of goals in every game of play pretty much. There's been one 0-0 draw so far, which is Burnley versus West Brom, wasn't it? So there's made 7-2 wins as there have been 0-0 draws. So I've gone for a 3-2 Man U win versus Chelsea there. Liverpool versus Sheffield United, pretty straightforward win. I think 2-0 Liverpool. Could be more. I reckon it could be 3 or 4, but I've gone for a 2-0 Liverpool win there. Southampton versus Everton. Everton are top of the league, looking very, very dangerous this year. I've gone for a 3-1 away win to Everton. I think Southampton can't handle the uh, the Hamas Rodriguez effect. I think Everton looking very, very dangerous. I think they'll drop off at some stage. Not sure when it'll be. I reckon they'll get 7th or 6th. Then they'll get top 4. But I'm wondering when they'll drop off. I'm not sure what their fixture list is like, but I think they'll still carry on for now and beat Southampton there. Wolves versus Newcastle. 2-1 home into Wolves. Uh, not much to say about the game. I haven't watched much of Wolves or Newcastle this season. I can't lie. I can't really comment on either clubs. I don't really know too much about how they've done this year. But I've gone for a Wolves 2-1 win just off the top of my head. Gut instinct, I think a 2-1 win there. Arsenal-Leicester. I've gone for a low-scoring game. 1-0 Arsenal. I think Jamie Vardy might be injured still. I'm not entirely sure. If he's back, it changed everything. But I've done, done on the basis that he is out. I've gone for a 1-0 Arsenal win. Brighton versus West Brom. It sounds on paper another boring draw. I've gone for a 1-0. I haven't gone for a 0-0. We've gone for a one all there. I just think it has one all written all over it. I think both teams can't defend. Both teams can't score. So it's a one all. Can it can Brighton score? I'm not sure their previous results. Last last few, last few videos had some comments from Brighton fans moaning at me. But I've gone for a one all Brighton draw there. And Burnley versus Spurs. I think this is probably the most straightforward result of this weekend. I've gone for a 4-0 Tottenham win. I think they'll win convincingly. 
I just don't think Burnley are up to it this year. I think they'll struggle. That is the 10 predictions this week, guys. Hope you guys, guys are enjoying the series so far. Please leave a like if you're new around it and subscribe if you're new as well. Leave a comment below what your results are this week, as always. And we'll catch you guys next week for the review of this week and also predictions of Game Week 7. See you later, guys.